Oh, lucky losers, oh, lucky losers, lucky, lucky, lucky loo. Oh, lucky losers, so oh, lucky losers, lucky, lucky, lucky loo. Hi, I'm John, and welcome to Lucky Losers, the channel with content for all. And in today's English Just For You, whoops, we're going to look at idioms. And the English language is full of them. Um, this is going to be the first in a series of ten. Um, today we're going to take ten idioms. And 10 times 10, of course, is 100. So over the next 10 uh, English Just For Use, you're going to have a hundred, a total of 100 idioms. And sorry about the flag. It's uh, just uh, glued together with some blue tack. So I'll just uh, make sure it doesn't fall off again. idiom this evening is the blind leading the blind uh, what it means a blind person of course cannot see and what it means is somebody who is um, inexperienced or incompetent telling somebody else who is perhaps the same exactly what to do it comes from the biblical reference from Matthew chapter 15 verse 14 which is and if the blind lead the blind both shall fall into a ditch so a ditch is the hole near the road and just to illustrate this in a sentence um, if I try to explain how this machine works it would be like the blind leading the blind because I haven't got a clue and you want to know how it works. So that is the blind leading the blind. So now the second uh, is connected with the, with the word club. You can be in the club or you can join the club. Two different clubs, two completely different meanings. So in the club means simply you're pregnant, you're expecting a baby. Um, and the second one means that if you, if you join the club, it means you're in the same unfortunate situation as the other person. So let's illustrate the first one in a sentence. She's not even 18 and she's in the club. Who did it? I'll get him. Uh, in the second one. Um, so you've lost your job too, just like me. So join the club. So that's number two. Number three, bite the dust. Um, have you heard of the Queen's song, the old Queen's song? Another one bites the dust, another one bites the dust, another one something else like that. Um, it simply means you cease to exist or you are unsuccessful. The old meaning from the 19th century actually was meaning to die. It was used in adventure stories and in the 20th century it was used in westerns. So, to illustrate this in a sentence, his plan to lose weight has simply bitten the dust. He's even fatter now than he was before. So there you are, bite the dust. Another one, bite the dust. <laughs> Oh, 
hair of the dog. Nothing to do with dog's hair, of course, or my hair. Well, hair of the dog is an alcoholic drink taken in the morning when you've drunk too much the night before. So, to illustrate that in a sentence, for him, the best thing for a hangover is the hair of the dog. So it could be some beer or some other tonic. Hangover is when, how you feel when you've drunk too much the night before. You could have a headache, stomach ache, but you don't feel good. So that's uh, hair of the dog. irons in the fire um, what that means is to do several things at one time to be involved and to be involved in this it could be negative or positive as in this case in this sentence even if the project fails we still have several irons in the fire so that's uh, that one and so we'll go on to the next one Number six, um, half a loaf is better than no loaf. We're of course talking about a loaf of bread. Um, it's a saying, it simply means that something is better than nothing. So the sentence here is, uh, don't be sad just because he gave you £10 for the job. Half a loaf is better than nothing. Be happy with what you've got. Number seven, know one's onion. To know, to know, to know your onions. Sorry about that. Okay, we're not talking about the vegetable, um, but it simply means to know your job, your subject, study, to know something very well. Yep. So the sentence then: uh, the mechanic knows his onions. I'm sure he will repair your car quickly. And properly, just as he did mine. So number eight, the salt of the earth, which means a very good or worthy person. It comes from the Bible, from Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. And uh, in the sentence, he will always help you. He's the salt of the earth. <laughs> Number nine, then, Tao and Charlie. We're referring to a person. Uh, somebody who is last in the competition, in class, in the group, test. Just to illustrate in a sentence, he's too fat, that's why he's a tail end Charlie. He simply runs too slow and loses every race. It's actually slang, it's um, in a group of aircraft, uh, it's the last aircraft in that group. Uh, we're talking about in the uh, Air Force. And we come to the last of our idioms today, and it is a vexed question. A vexed question is a problem which is discussed in great detail over a long period of time and without being solved. Um, sometimes what politicians do, you can say. 
to illustrate it, we will never know how to solve the vexed question of what came first, the chicken or the egg, and that's another saying. We never know which, but something had to come first. first uh, of the series of 100 idioms we've had 10 today and I hope they all made sense if you're still unsure you're learning English um, just write to me in the comments and I'll try and explain them in more details um, by the way these uh, idioms uh, come from the Wordsworth dictionary of English, it's got uh, thousands of it, different idioms here and you can find out more more than just my hundred that I'm going to give you you've got several thousand here and perhaps you'll get uh, the opportunity of using them in future, hopefully so, that's it for today once again thank you for staying here to the end hope you've enjoyed it I look forward to seeing you in the uh, next of the uh, series of idioms, 100 idioms, so we'll have the next 10. Um, so, love you all, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye! And don't forget to subscribe! Lucky losers! Oh lucky losers, oh lucky losers, lucky 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 loo. Oh lucky losers, oh lucky losers, lucky 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 loo. Oh lucky losers, oh lucky losers, lucky 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 loo. Oh lucky losers, oh lucky losers, lucky 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 loo. Thank you.